Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 22. Write a program to read email IDs of n number of students and store them in a tuple. Create two new tuples, one to store only the usernames from the email IDs and second to store domain names from the email IDs. Print all three tuples at the end of the program. Hint, you may use the function split. Let us begin with the variable called email is equal to we are going to create here empty tuple next i'm going to take one more variable called user name is equal to empty tuple next domain name here username and domain name there should not be any space in between here also i'm going to write tuple so we have created three empty tuples for email username and domain name now let us declare a variable n of type integer and in input statement i'm going to ask the user in a double quotation mark how many valid email ids you want to enter and then put double quotation mark and close these brackets next we will use iterative statement for i is variable in range of n and put colon as per the syntax of for loop now with the indentation here i'm going to declare a variable called eid is equal to i'll ask the user to enter email ids using input statement here in a input i'm going to write in a double quotation mark please enter email id I'm going to put double quotation mark and here I'm going to use plus operator that is concatenation operator and I'm going to use a string function and i plus one. So for the first time i value is zero, zero plus one it will become one. So it is going to go on printing. Please enter email id one, two, three, and so on. So whatever the value you are going to enter for the variable n. Now plus operator and here i'm going to use double quotation mark and put colon and end the double quotation mark and close the bracket now i'll take one more variable called email here i'm going to use email plus is equal to and i'm going to add all of these email ids and store in a variable called email and here i'm going to put comma and close the bracket in order to insert each element of the tuple one by one we have to use element then put comma next i'm going to take one more variable called e is equal to eid dot split and in a double quotation mark i'm going to write at the rate symbol end the double quotation mark and close the bracket here in the question itself they have given you may use the function split in order to separate username and domain name here i'm going to use the variable called username username is equal to username plus e of 0 close the bracket put comma and then close the round bracket now we are going to write domain name is equal to domain name plus e of 1 and then put comma close the bracket now we are going to print all the email ids which are present in the tuple then username and domain name for that i'm going to write print statement in alignment with the, this for loop here i'm going to write 
print and in a double quotation mark i am going to write the ids in the tuple and the double quotation mark put comma then we will write email and then close the bracket next i am going to use the print statement to print the usernames here in a double quotation mark i am going to write the username of email ids are then put a comma here i am going to write username and then close the bracket once again i am going to write print statement in order to print the domain name here in a double quotation mark i am going to write the domain name of email ids r end the double quotation mark put comma and here we are going to write the variable called domain name and then close the bracket let us see its output here i'm going to write output so once we execute this program so it will ask the user how many valid email ids you want to enter so here i'm going to write in short how many email ids for example i'm going to enter two next using this iterative statement n value is holding two it is going to iterate these set of instructions twice because here i for the first time it is zero and here n value is two which is less than two it is going to stop at one zero and one only two items it is going to take here e id it is asking the user to please enter email id number one that is i is zero for the first time zero plus one it will become one so it is going to print please enter email id one and then colon so here for example i don't have space to write over here i'm going to write over here i'll write Anumanth dot jabin at gmail dot com. So after entering this, it is going to execute the next statement that is email plus is equal to. Otherwise, you can write email is equal to email plus eid. So here it is going to enter into the variable called email so this particular email id what we have entered is initialized to email next e is equal to eid dot split at the rate so here whenever at the rate will come it is going to split into two parts so here this hanumanth dot jabin is one part and after at the rate gmail.com is another part here username is equal to username plus e of 0 so here e of 0 means before at the rate it is e of 0 and after the at the rate it is e of 1 that is domain name here username is equated with the username here in this case it is hanumanth dot jabin so here i'm going to write hanumanth dot jabin next domain name is equal to domain name plus e of 1 so after the at the rate symbol we have gmail.com which will be initialized to domain name variable here i'm going to write domain name is equal to here gmail.com will be initialized so after this once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 here once again it is asking the user to please enter email id here i am going to write please enter email id and here earlier i was 0 now it is 1 1 plus 1 it will become 
2. So here it is going to print 2. That is second email ID that I, we have to enter. So for example, I'm going to enter. So Hanuman 50 dot Ladwa at the rate email dot com. Here also you can observe before at the rate we have got Hanuman 50 dot Ladwa that is called username and after at the rate we have got gmail dot com that is called domain name. Here we will write email plus is equal to that is nothing but email is equal to email plus EID. So whenever we enter any email ID it will be initialized to email variable. So here I am going to write email variable is holding this particular value for the second time. Next E is equal to EID dot split. So whenever at the rate will come it is going to split the email ID into two parts. So first part whose index number is 0 and the second part after at the rate whose index number is 1. So that's the reason here we have taken E of 0 username is equal to here in this case it is anumanth 50 dot ladwa next we have got domain name domain name will be holding value gmail.com next once again the control transfers to for loop here the condition will become false hence it is going to transfer the control to the next statement so it is going to print the ids in the tuple as it is here i'm going to write the IDs in the tuple. So both the email IDs will be printed over here. For example, the first one is Anmant dot Jabin at the rate gmail dot com. Next one is Anumant fifty dot Ladwa at the rate gmail dot com. Next, the username of email IDs are it will be printed as it is, then username will be printed. So the first time username is Hanumant dot Jabin. So here uh, I'm going to write the username. of email ids are inside of the round bracket it is going to print the username the first username is anmant dot jabin next put comma here the next username is anmant 50 dot ladwa uh, next statement I'm going to write it over here because I don't have space over here. Next the domain name of email IDs are here in a round bracket domain name will be gmail.com and comma and even for the second email also it is gmail com now let us uh, execute this program and uh, check out the result here we have come to vs code let us click on new file and here i'm going to type lab22.py and press enter here you can observe we have come to lab22.py file let us write email is equal to i'm going to create an empty tuple now I'm going to fast forward this particular part of the video so that we can save our time.
now it's uh, time to save this particular file by pressing ctrl s and let us go to run click on start debugging and here it is going to ask the user to enter how many valid email ids do you want to enter for example i'm going to enter two and it is asking the user to please enter email id one here i'm going to type hanumant.jabin at gmail.com and i'll press enter now it is asking the user to please enter email id two here i'm going to enter hanumant 50 dot ladwa at gmail.com and i'll press enter here you can observe the ID is in tuple. So both the email IDs separated by comma in a round braces that forms a tuple. Then the username of email IDs are you can observe before at the rate what we have is separated by comma is written in a tuple. Next domain name of email IDs are here gmail.com comma and gmail.com after at the rate is printed. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video